folks, day 71. It is a Tuesday. Um, we had a show this past Sunday in Helena at the Lewis and Clark Brewery. Went really well. And uh, we got shows this Friday and Saturday in Anaconda. So things are feeling good. They're feeling good because we're doing exactly what we want to do. I'm doing what I want to do, which is the comedy, the entertainment. Basically just live for myself and I got to remember to um, enjoy every single day while this is going on. Um, but want to make a, a video for the 2021 resolution. Still going strong since January 1st of this year. Um, trying to make 100 videos by the end of the year. And um, yeah, whatever you're doing in life, consider that you have freedom. At least right now you do. If you don't want to... Um, you know, if you don't want to be in a job, you don't want to be trapped in some situation, you can get out of that. You don't have to stay stuck in that rut. And the sooner you learn that, and the, the more quickly you um, make these decisions to change your life, the better. You definitely don't want to be one of those people that stays in a situation and then all of a sudden you're 65 years old and it's like, well, yeah, but now I got my retirement. Well, yeah, but man, some of the best years of your life are in your 30s, 40s. 20s, 50s, you know, when you're when you're a little bit younger. So we should all be trying to get our shit together sooner than later. I'm 36 years old and I still have regrets like why did I, you know, drink away my 20s in college and you know, I mean, yeah, sure you, we all accomplish a few things, but you could you could have done so much more. And that's hard, definitely hard to get into a 20-year-old's brain. But if you're listening and you're you know, 30 years old or 40 years old, it's definitely, well, it's never too late. It's never too late to say, you know what? Fuck this shit. I want something different out of my life. I have always wanted to, you know, be a, um, work in radio or whatever, whatever your dream might be, but you've been stuck, you know, in your current job that you hate, get out of it, pursue radio or start pursuing radio. Um, and, and stay in your job, you know, to continue to make the income, but, but take those steps, take those steps to getting out of your position. you got to start somewhere. you got to start somewhere. And the second part of this day 71 video I want to talk about is the cancel culture shit that's exploding because of, um, you know, Dave Chappelle again, and John Gruden, uh, just got fired, or I guess he resigned from the Raiders. He was the head coach because of uh, things that he had said um, that were deemed homophobic and, and whatnot. Um, and you can have an opinion on that. I, I think, personally, is like, this was um, 11 years ago, and I know, you know, that's not an excuse for saying whatever, but I just, I just don't feel like language should end somebody's career, should really fuck somebody's life up. I just don't think language should be like that. It's our first amendment right. I mean, we should look at it and say, well, yeah, that was, that was a shitty thing to say or probably shouldn't have done that. But it was in like a private email. It was in confidence um, that, that, you know, this was only going to be seen by the eyes of whoever owned the responding, corresponding uh, email address. So I just... Again, I, I just that's that's tough for me because I don't think that its language should end your entire life and, and fuck you up like that. And Dave Chappelle as well with the cancel culture stuff. I don't know. I think he's got a new special out. Uh, he got in trouble for his last one. He said some things about the trans community, and everyone's well aware of that. Um, I was never a Chappelle fan growing up. It's not like I didn't like him. I just never watched him. He wasn't on my radar for entertainment or whatnot. But nowadays, he's he's kind of a hero of mine because he is expressing his First Amendment rights. And that doesn't make him a shitty person. He does a lot of great things, you know, with the, the black community and LGBTQ. He does, he does all kinds of amazing things outside of his comedy and with the uh, wealth that he has gained because of his comedy. He's just kind of in the same boat as me. It's like, we can say whatever the fuck we want, especially in comedy. You have to be able to have an outlet where that's still acceptable. It's supposed to be all fun and games. Everybody's laughing together, right? And if you can't take a joke, then I guess that's on you because um, like a Family Guy episode, they joke about every single 
um, race of people, every stereotype that you can think of, it's out there. And I think that's how all comedians should be. You shouldn't just be the, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm the make fun of Asians com- um, comedian, you know. You should be a well-rounded, we're going to make fun of everybody. And if you do that, I don't see why you can't say literally whatever. I mean, that's that's the outlet that we need to to keep in this society to be a healthy, functioning society. I truly believe that. So on cancel culture, I say, you know, criticize. That's your right to criticize, not like something and say, this guy sucks or I don't like this comedian or this football player or whatever. That is totally 100% fine. But it's the moment that you try to end their career, end their life, go after them with pitchfork and torch, that's when it becomes uncool to me. And we need to take a step back and go, yeah, that's that's not... We, we can't end people's lives and careers because of what they say. You have the freedom to criticize. They have the freedom to get up on a stage and say jokes that might be offensive to certain groups. That's the freedom of everybody in this country. Either we all have freedom of speech or nobody does. That's how it works. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for joining in. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. October, what, 12th today? It's coming down to the pike here. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.